Guten Tag, welcome back guys to the Minecraft Multi Force. And you guys have voted on the recent poll. We need to strengthen NATO forces. So today we're gonna to be making the Eurofighter Typhoon multi role fourth generation fighter jet. This is manufactured by a consortium of Airbus base systems and Leonardo. The two versions we have here is from the German Air Force Luftwaffe as well as the Royal Air Force RAF from the UK. But it is also operated by a variety of other countries like Italy and Spain. And it's actually a redesign of our older Minecraft military force, your Typhoon that Hyperdog made a long time ago, but we need an upgrade for this. So in comparison, it should have more accurate dimensions. It was a little bit too long and tall, so I just cut off a few blocks and I also added the window divider here got the canard as well as the delta wing and for the german air force a cool thing is i was able to put their flag on the tail so it looks like that it's very nice and miniature in the back we have this i think this is like a drag chute when you're landing for emergencies and under the wings we have the weapons pylon for the missiles as well as the fuel drop tank and then we got the landing gear doors as well as the side, we have the iron cross and the numbers right there, as well as some red markings. And we also have the APU exhaust right here represented by that little button. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the RAF version of it. So um, this one, it actually comes in real life. There's many squadrons and they have different markings, but I try to get like this default one. So we have the RAF roundel here, small little RAF roundel right here on the wing and this red and white stripe on the tail. But the rest of the design is pretty much almost the exact same thing besides a couple blocks. And if you guys want to make another Air Force, you can probably just swap them out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the brand new design. If you do, hit the like button down below and let's get started on the tutorial. All right, so here is a list of all the materials that you'll need. All right, so for this tutorial, I'll be building the German one. And if you want to make the RAF one, it's really minor on the tail. Just change the banner to this one. I'll show you in the tutorial, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so the dimensions are gonna be a wingspan of 17 blocks, 24 blocks long, and eight blocks tall. It's only eight because that little iron trap door is gonna be the eighth one. But yeah, let's get started by building the fuselage. So first off, we're gonna be placing this grindstone wheel vertically up like this, a birch fence above it, two clay on top of it. Then we'll add in an anisite wall, iron trap doors on either side of this and a side slab four blocks long and a smooth stone slab here smooth stone block here smooth slab and then iron trap doors make an L shape fill this in with uh, clay and then add in all this for the cockpit area and a side stairs here two slabs daylight detector four iron trap doors slab clay four blocks long and we'll make the tail it looks like this don't forget the lever down below and on top is going to be iron trap door and light gray carpet. Then on the bottom, iron trap door, three slabs here. Then clay all the way across. And don't forget to add in this blackstone button right there. So that is pretty much it for the fuselage. So for the next step, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to add in these banners for the cockpit. All right, so these two banners here in the back, there's just going to be a light gray banner, black die on the top row of it. We're gonna make two copies and the second copy we're gonna add in a light gray dye and we're gonna make this triangle on this side cut off that corner and yeah that's pretty much how you make those two banners and you'll just place that in the back of the cockpit now for this one right here that is going to be a black banner and we're gonna have light gray dye, just make a diagonal like this. And we'll add in black dye and we'll add in a triangle and that's gonna be on the same side right here, make it thinner. And then light gray dye, we'll make a line, horizontal line across. And then we'll fill in the bottom half of it. And that's pretty much how you make that. All right, so after you add in all those banners, we'll add in two light gray stained glass panes here. Then down below, andesite slab, and then andesite stairs here, facing inwards, iron trap door, side three blocks long here, and then clay here, and this is going to be a polished blackstone brick slab, carpet on top, some more clay, and this clay down here, this is going to be six blocks long, and add in a birch fence gate here, iron trap door, and if you can't use this, just use birch trap door. Then we'll add in three clays here. We'll add in the slabs here for the afterburner. 
the clay on top all the way across as well as mangrove button warp button here and mango button there if I didn't say that already. Now for the tail part, as I said before, there's two types of banners, the German one and the Royal Air Force one. So to make the German one, we'll need light gray banner, red dye, light gray dye, yellow dye, black dye. So go inside the loom and we're gonna add in light gray banner and then black dye, we're gonna fill that in the top half of it. Put it back inside, yellow dye, and fill in the bottom half of it. Put it back in. And red dye, make a horizontal line in the middle. Put it back in. And then light gray dye that's going to be on the top row. And then the bottom row. Put it back in. And light gray dye that's going to be on the left hand column like this. So that's how you make the flag banner. And we'll just add that to the tail. Now to make the RAF one, we're going to take blue banner red dye and light gray dye so go inside loom blue banner red dye and then the red dye is going to be on one half of it so the red we want in the front so put it like that then we'll add in our light gray dye and we'll fill in um right hand column left hand column top and then the bottom and that's how you make the raf banner Looks like that. All right, so I think that should be pretty much it for um, this stage and the other side, you're just built the other way around. That then next step, you're just adding the rest of the canard here and we'll start to make the wing part. This is gonna be smooth stone slab, six blocks long, skip a block, then four here on trap door. It's gonna be a polished diorite stairs facing inwards, diorite wall underneath and a birch fence gate. Light gray carpets all the way across to the front part. And the other side's virtually identical, except that this part has a polished blackstone button right here for the APU. All right, after that, I will just build more on the wings. So iron trap doors here. So skip these two, four iron trap doors, skip a block, four more. And then an size stairs upside down facing inwards, birch fence gate and a polished blackstone brick block here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Symmetrical again on the other side. All right. The next step, we'll add in the fuel drop tank here. So this is gonna be skip two blocks here on trap door and then four of these andesite walls. Smooth stone slab here. And then three light gray walls. Upside down andesite stairs and smooth stone slab. In the back, two iron trap doors and then like red carpet on top. Other sides pretty much identical, nothing really different. All right, next up we'll finish up the wing part. So, so you just skip block here, two iron trap doors, go diagonally, add in four iron trap doors, three blocks wide here, and then inside is gonna be, and say stairs upside down, facing inwards, and then two of them over here facing outwards. Uh, birch fence gates two blocks long here, skeleton skull, while the other one's gonna be dark oak fence gates facing each other right here, and then a warp fence gate with their skeleton skull right there. And the tip's gonna be four blocks long, smooth uh, stone slab. Other side, pretty much identical, just the other way around. And now for the last step, uh, we'll just cover up this part here with carpet while the edge has um, trap doors cross four blocks long like that. While the other side's gonna have this black carpet right here in the corner. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Luftwaffe Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet. And to make the RAF one, you'll just uh, change up the roundel here, add in the roundel here. Uh, don't include those mangroves, instead, you'll add in a stone button right there, as well as this button here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button down below. Leave a comment, check out our Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one.